Hey guys, welcome to your love reading for Pisces. This is gonna, this is gonna be for your September 2024. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. We are gonna take a look and see what your blocks and challenges are in love, okay? Um, apply this to your own unique situations. You may switch roles if you want. Uh, like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys are, uh, so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. So I'm gonna go live. Um, let's see uh, what else. Um, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Um, anyone is interested in booking a personal reading with me, the link for that is also in the description box below, okay? So let's get started here for Pisces. What messages do we have for, for Pisces? What blocks and challenges is Pisces facing in love for September 2024? For Pisces here, for Pisces. <sighs> so we have the Three of Pentacles here. And also the Seven of Wands here. Okay. You guys are just focusing on your work at this time here. You know, I feel like you guys are in just... In this energy, it's just feeling really guarded, really blocked off here with the Sun of Wands. Six of Wands here. Right now, I feel like you guys are focusing on your victory, focusing on your success here. We have the Ten of Cups here too. I do feel like you guys are looking for love here. But I feel like it's on the terms of finding someone here that's respectful. Someone here that you work really well with. Someone that you have good chemistry here with. But I also feel like at the same time here, Pisces, I feel like you could be really guarded here. We have the Seven of Swords. Yeah, I feel like you just don't trust people here too with the Seven of Swords. And also the Strength card here. I just feel like you guys are really guarded at this time here. One of the things, one of the blocks and challenges that you guys might need to work on is having boundaries of people. Some of you guys have leaky boundaries here. Yeah. So I feel like you easily get taken advantage by others here. Okay, Strength card, Seven of Swords, uh, Leo Energy with a Strength card here. Tell me the Three of Pentacles. We have the Three of Pentacles and a Temperance card, Sagittarius Energy, the Seven of Wands here, and also the Hierophant here, Taurus Energy. Taurus Energy here. Sagittarius Energy with the Temperance card. Six of Wands. Hermit, yeah, I just feel like you guys are definitely doing a lot of self-work at this time here. Introspecting, self-reflecting, healing here. You guys are turning to the divine, turning to the universe here, turning to the deity here for guidance here at this time. So, you know, I feel like you guys are definitely doing the right thing here. I mean, you obviously don't want to enter into a relationship you guys, when you guys are not ready for it. You know, uh, if you're not ready for it, you know, and someone here, someone else is putting 100% and you're only put, putting 50, that's not really fair, right? Tell me the Ten of Cups here. And the Four of Swords. Tell me the Seven of Swords here. And the Page of Wands here. Aries, Little Sagittarius Energy. Mm. There could be there there could be someone that's in around you here that's basically having a hard time letting you go and moving on from you here. Yeah, this is a I mean, you could also right now be dealing with someone here where some this person can't be trusted here. And your guides and your angels and your ancestors are like, hey Pisces, be careful of this individual. This is not the right person here for you. Alright, tell me the strength card here. I feel like you already know. Yeah, I feel like you already know. But I feel like if you sense this or that if you get messages here, I feel like you're going to walk away from this person here and just be on your own here for a bit. Maybe that made you realize that, you know, or that this person made you realize that, you know what, I'm not really ready for a relationship here. Yeah. Let's see what else we have for Pisces. What else does Pisces need to know? Look out for work on here. When it comes to your blocks in love for September 2024, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign for Pisces. We have the Queen of Wands here and the Page of Swords. Here is the thing here. You have a secret admirer here. Someone here that's really interested in you. But with the Queen of Wands here, like I said, you know, this is an energy of someone here who's very independent. You know, that wants to do their own thing here. 
Yeah, there is a passionate new beginning in love. Here is the thing. This person that's entering into your life here is a very grounded, very stable individual. This person has their life together, you know. Uh, I feel like this person's a good business person here. This person, you know, uh, you know, is forward thinking. This person plans for the future here. Okay, with the Knight of Wands here and the Emperor here. Interesting. Someone here is chasing you. Someone here is after you here. In a good way. Someone here wants to build a life here with you. Could be a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy here. There is a new person that's coming into your life here that's very, 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 very interested in you. Uh, we have the Queen of Wands here. Why is the Queen of Wands here? And also the Eight of Wands. Yeah, you're receiving communication from someone here. This is the person, this is the real deal here. This is a soulmate that's coming into your life here. This person's really, really, really interested in you. I do feel like this person's also very fun and very adventurous too. You know, I feel like one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like you guys really enjoy your freedom here, okay? And, you know, it could be that, you know, this person is going to give that to you and perhaps you will give that to this person here. Tell me the King of Pentacles here. Why is the King of Pentacles here? The King of Pentacles here and the Nine of Swords. Tell me the Ace of Wands here. Why is the Ace of Wands here? The Ace of Wands and also we have the Hangman here. Piscean energy. All right. I do feel like this is going to be a very perspective connection here. Okay. This is really interesting. You know, I do feel like it will stress this person out because you could be really guarded here, but I feel like this person's gonna allow you that space and that time to, for you to sort of like warm up to them or to for you to make their way to them. And, you know, so tell me the Knight of Wands here. Why is the Knight of Wands here? The Knight of Wands here and the Six of Swords. Tell me the Emperor here. Why is the Emperor here? The Emperor here and also we have the Tower here, Aries Scorpio energy. You're not going to expect this here, but I do feel like this is an individual here that's secretly admiring you, and I do believe that this person is your soulmate here. Yeah, we have the Wheel, Wheel of Fortune, the Justice card, and the Lovers here. Wow. You know, I'm not going to lie here. You know, I feel like this person, Pisces, is going to completely blow your socks off here. Yeah, this person's going to blow your socks off. This person's going to change your life because I feel like this person is not like anybody that you've ever met before in your life here. Yeah, this person's going to completely blow your socks off. We have the Eight of Pentacles here. And also we have the Five of Swords. Yeah, I actually see you second guessing this here, Pisces. Second guessing whether to take this on or not. Yeah, I feel like you guys are definitely going to struggle with this here, Pisces, whether to take this on or not. But I really feel like this person is the real deal here. This person is a real deal. This person is secretly admiring you. This person wants to get to know you here. This person is going to blow your socks off, blow your socks off in bed, maybe blow your panties off. I don't know. But yeah, whoever this is, I do feel like this person is the real deal here. And I feel like this person's ready for love. This person's ready to build a life here with you. But yeah, you're definitely blocking yourself off from this and not really taking this here. Uh, perhaps a fear of getting hurt, fear of getting lied to here fear of getting cheated on. So Pisces, I, uh, I, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'll speak to you guys in another reading. All right. Thanks guys. Bye.